Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to show you an update on the surgical table that had the board repaired, it wasn't installed, and I've already tested it. It works beautifully. So let's take a look. I'll show you the symptoms of before and after so that if you see this, you'll know what to look for. All right, guys, here we go. This is what the board looks like when it's installed back in the table. Down here, I have a charge indicator that is not charging because I'm in the process of doing electrical safety. So let's see. All right, that's looking good. It's a chassis leakage. All right, you can see as it applies mains, I am going forth and charging. See how the, it's got the scrolling LED indicators? You can hear that it has activated the charge circuit. That's the cooling fans. And I also replaced the batteries, brand new batteries. So that's part of a three year PM, four year PM. Let's change out the batteries anyway. But uh, good opportunity to do it since I'm already in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift ground. It's looking excellent. Okay. So the other thing I want to check is let's go ahead and check the equipment current. That would be I right there. So we want to make sure it's not drawing too much current just in case that would be what would pop your uh, circuit board over there. And it's drawing 0.1 of an amp, which is to be expected because I am not doing anything here. You can see I've got my manual controls hooked up. My remote is currently not hooked up. They're going to bring me one so I can finish up the test, but it's not drawing too much current because all it's doing is float charging the batteries. I'm going to go ahead and raise the table up, activate the hydraulic pump system, and you should see a jump in the equipment current over on the safety analyzer. So in order to do this, let's put this guy back to where it belongs. And here's the table up button. So I'm going to go ahead and activate it. And you should see the equipment current jump. There we go. 1.6 amps, 1.5. That's excellent. 2.8. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the table up and down just to make sure that my equipment current stays within a reasonable rate. And there we go guys. It passes the electrical safety. All I gotta do is screw the hatch back down, plug in my remote, finish up the test, and the 3602 is good to go. So that goes to prove it guys. All you have to do is repair your own circuit boards and you can put these guys right back into service. It's, it's a pretty simple fix. Usually it's just the microfuse, but in this case it was a photo solid state relay and a microfuse. But either way, still didn't take very long to repair. Save yourself well over $1,000 and get you back up and going almost instantly. <laughs> Thanks for watching.